Where is the challenge for this Ireland team? Coming off the back of a comfortable victory by their second string against Italy. That's the question this week. Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be here with you throughout the championship. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Today, I'm going to be looking at what I think the Ireland team will be to face Wales this coming Saturday. Uh, but before we do that, just a quick talk about how they played against Italy. A load of changes met, put by, in by Andy Farrell. And it wasn't a, a completely fluent. It wasn't completely perfect performance. But man, they made it look super easy against Italy. Some moments of genuine class. They found their flow. Uh, Crowley in particular with some just beautiful touches at fly half. But myself and Alco, we did a proper big deep dive on that and I'll, I'll link it up there. So go and check that review out if you haven't seen it already. Now some squad updates. Hugo Keenan, Keenan is the biggest one. is an injury doubt. And as it stands, I'm recording this on Saturday, 17th of Feb. We don't know whether he's going to be fit or not, but it's looking more and more likely that he won't. Ronan Agada was interviewed and suggested that Simon Zebo would be a very good replacement. But, however, having initially been released back to Leinster with a view of playing, uh, Kieran Frawley was actually been brought back into the squad yesterday. So it's very much up in the air. Gary Ringrose, though, is back fit and training and looks like he'll be available for selection. And I'm going to assume all the minor knocks that they had uh, that kept people out of the Italy game, they're all going to be fit, I'm sure. So let's get into it. And as I usual, these are the forwards. Oh, by the way, just uh, hope you don't mind the really horrible clash of the green wall and the green background of this. It's, uh, it's a little distracting, but there we go. Um, these are the forwards that I think will definitely keep their place from the Italy game. And as you can see, I only think two definitely will. Sheehan, obviously, a hooker, has played a, a lot of rugby and... Um, Kelleher is such a good player that I just think maybe there's a chance they might um, swap them around this week. Who knows? Uh, also with Sheehan, you know, absolutely <laughs> killing two tries at last time out. Um, should have had four, I think. Instead, he only got two. I don't think that would be a reason to drop him, but still. Uh, and then on the tight end, Bielham, who I think played really well, but you got Furlong to come back. So mm, what are you going to do? And the same through the back four of the scrum as well with uh, Ryan, Baird, Doris and Conan all played well. But you've got some big hitters that are going to be back and available. So I can't say that any of them are really guaranteed their shirts. Certainly not in the position they played against Italy anyway. Um, so this is what I think they'll do. I think, I think they're going to keep Sheehan in. He seems to be able to play a lot of minutes. Uh, without any injury, any issues whatsoever. I think Bielan might keep his place, you know. I'm a big fan of his. I think his scrummage is really low and I think he's super effective in, in lots of bits of the game. I think they might keep him in and have Furlan off the bench. Time will tell. Ty Byrne and Van der Fleer back in. Um, and I just think they missed a real threat on the ground, a turnover threat against Italy. And those two guys, particularly against Wales, where that's going to be a key battle, I think is certain to come back in. Amani is captain. And Doris obviously played seven against Italy. He'll go back to his regular place at number eight, I believe. Okay, let's take a look at the backs. And again, these are the people that I think will keep their place for sure. And we're going to go with uh, Crowley, obviously, and Lowe, two outstanding players. I think Henshaw will keep his place at 13. And, and Nash on the wing. Um, which means that players potentially missing out. Craig Casey, who I thought had lots of good moments, but he just didn't have quite the control, quite the control or quite the option taking um, that Gibson Park will give you. McCloskey was outstanding, but you got Bundy Aki to come back in. And again, it like Ireland are in this place where players might play and then not play the following week, having played well. And there's no, you can't really um, legislate for that. You know, you just have to accept that you're part of a really strong squad and sometimes it might not be you. And then at 15, Hugo Keenan, as mentioned, quite possibly going to be injured. Uh, just to mention for James Lowe, man of the match last week, an outstanding 
I had uh, Phil Greenaway on the podcast this week to talk about his left boot and what a weapon it is. I'll link that up there as well. Go and take a look at that one if you haven't watched it. It's a lot of fun, that video. And uh, it, we did quite a lot into Ireland's kicking tactics and why they're so effective. And then lastly, let's... Oh, sorry. These are the backs. So, yeah, Gibson Park to start. I think Aki will come back in. I think he's been one of the Ireland's, out of a lot of good players, I think he's been one of Ireland's best over the past 12 months. So I think he'll play. And then I think I'm going to go with Frawley at fullback. That seems to be the the wisest choice. Keenan not quite going to make it, I don't think. And why risk him, even if he is 50-50? So onto the bench. Keller, Healy and Furlong back in. The props that were on the bench last time. Uh, Lockman and O'Toole both did perfectly fine. O'Toole got popped in the scrum a couple of times, but Ireland still won their ball, so all good as far as that's concerned. Ryan moves back to the bench along with Conan. Super unlucky for somebody like Ryan Baird, who again, an incredible athlete, incredible rugby player, brilliant hands, but just it, there's not enough places in the team for him, even in the squad. I think Murray will come back as scrum half replacement. I just think the control, the experience, I think that's what they're going to want off the bench. And he brings that ring rose to get back into the side from the bench. And then Lama, I think they need back three cover more than anything. And Lama provides that. So that's what I think. But what do you think? Do you think this is the right team? Do you think this is the team that Andy Farrell is going to pick? And most importantly, do you think it's a team good enough to beat Wales who are proving quite difficult to beat? this championship so far let me know in the comments down below and i'll join you there for a conversation give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind while you're down there and you can subscribe there watch that one next and don't forget to get out and play